Okay, this is the third video in the Unit 3 module. Here we're going to be dealing with polyatomic ions. Now we just said that in order to recognize uh, the ionic compounds, you have to be able to recognize if there's a polyatomic ion present. Well, what are the polyatomic ions? These are just groups of atoms. Poly means many atom, poly, many atoms bonded together with an overall charge. They're going to behave as a unit that does not necessarily have the properties of each of the individual elements, okay? Now, there's not often that, that I'm going to say this, but memorization is going to work the best here, okay? Now, if you go into your reading, there's a bunch of tables that look kind of like this. And if you want to, you can go ahead and make flashcards of everything. Um, the problem I have with that is you're memorizing, but you may not see the trend. And so what I want to do is show you that there is a trend here that's going to make it relatively easy to see it. So the trend or the rules is that you are going to name according to a series. So not all polyatomics contain a series, but if they do, the one with the absolute uh, it has to do with the oxidation number, which we talk about much later in the unit. But one of them is going to end with 8, the root of the, the first element's name, and then 8. If you take away an oxygen, it's going to be it. Take away another oxygen, hypo something it. And then if you add oxygens to it, it's per something 8. Um, so 8 per 8, 8 it, hypo it. What on earth does that mean? So here's how I do it. Okay, um, I typically start with, uh, and I don't want to write in red. I feel like I'm always writing in red. Let's start with ClO3 with a negative charge. Chlorine is right here. Um, this is actually, I wonder if I can just get rid of, I'll discard it because I can rewrite it. Yeah, let's go here. I need more room. Uh, ClO ClO3 minus. Now the root of chlorine is chlor. So this is actually called chlor8. Well, if we added an oxygen, kept the charge the same, so this is going to be ClO4 negative, this is going to be the, called the per chlorate ion. I need to make sure my spelling is really clear here. If you take an oxygen away, ClO2 minus, see the charge is the same, it's just the oxygens that changes. This is going to be chlorite, I-T-E. Take away another one, ClO, with the minus charge. This is hypochlorite. Okay. So now let's talk about another one. We could do the same thing with BrO3 negative. Oops. Now if this was chlorate, this is bromine, so brome 8. By the way, all of these names should be lowercase unless they start a sentence. Um, I think I'm only capitalizing here because on flashcards I used to do that. Um, but if you're writing these, they should be lowercase. Unless it's a formatting issue, don't do it. So BRO4 with a minus charge. That's, I don't know if you can, for some reason, oh, it's because there's tape there. Um, this is per brome 8. BrO2 uh, minus. This is bromite. BrO with a minus charge is hypo. Bromite. Now, we could talk about um, <laughs> 
a few other things in here as well. But um, really, the only three that I care about in that one would be the iota, just because it's fun to say. IO3 negative, iodine, so this is iodate. Usually this is the time where I'm like, okay, well, what do you think per iodate is? And hopefully you guys can see that there's four oxygens. You add an oxygen, keep the charge the same. IO2 minus would be per iodite. And IO minus would be hypo iodite. Now, isn't that fun to say? That's an E. Um, okay, but here's my, my point, guys. If I were to make flashcards, and I know that this is chlorate, this is bromate, and this is iodate, I can quickly get to perchlorate or hypobromite. Because if I know this, and the trends here, by memorizing those three, you're really memorizing 12. Now it's up to you whether you want to do it this way or not, but to me, that's how I would kind of focus on it, okay? So now let's continue on to others. Um, so the next one you really need to know is nitrate. Now, if you tried to think about nitrate, you'd probably come up with N with some number of oxygens, NO3 negative, is nitrate. Now there is no per nitrate, there is no hypo nitrite. There's only nitrate and nitrite. It has to do with oxidation number guys. I'm not really going to worry about that at the moment. At this point we are just going to be focusing on the ones that you really need. Okay. So these are some of them. I'm going to have a few more to go. These are the ones that are pretty consistent. Now, um, then it starts to change a little bit. Um, carbonate is CO3 with a 2 minus charge. Oh, for goodness sake. I'm getting to the edge of the screen, and so I keep touching the, the shortcut button not intending to. Now there is no carbonite, um, but occasionally, um, especially for those of you that are going into the medical field, you may want to memorize um, HCO3 with a minus charge. Um, this is called bicarbonate. Um, sometimes it's also called hydrogen carbonate, um, which is more correct, but for people that are going into nursing, you'll want to know that. For me, not so much. It bothers me that it's not IUPAC. If you know carbonate, I'm pretty happy with you. Okay, so then there are, this is one, two, three, four, five. We are pretty much halfway there. I'm going to go ahead and start writing some more. Carbonate was the last one. Then we have sulfate. Sulfate is SO4 with a 2 minus charge. Again, there's no per sulfate, there's no hyposulfite, there's just sulfate and SO3 2 minus. Oops. Not sure what is going on. Um this should be a big one, which is what I was trying to do. Make sure that when you are writing this, uh, you are capital S, capital O, subscript 3, superscript 2 minus here. And this is sulfite. And again, I would really just focus on, because of the trend, if you know sulfate, you're going to know sulfite. The last one, probably one of the most important, is phosphate. If you're going into biology, you need to know phosphate anyway because it's so important to uh, DNA replication. It's important to your uh, lots of pathways, honestly. 
Um, and also, it is one of the key ingredients in soda that tastes so good. Um, it's either going to be carbonic acid or phosphoric acid. That's this, so um, this and H anyway. PO3 with a 3 minus charge is phosphite. So it's up to you like whether you memorize just the ones that I'm boxing or in the, the trend or if you want to make flashcards for all of these. The last ones that I need to point out are acetate. Now acetate can be written one of several ways. Um, it's technically going to be if you're in mom like this. Um, if you go into organic or if you go into nursing, um, another way that you'll see is CH3COO um, with a minus charge. I just don't want you to do that here because that's not the way that mom takes it and I don't want you to get confused here. Another one is cyanide. CN minus cyanide. Peroxide is O2 with a minus 2 charge. We're going into medical field or really anything related to um, medicine at all. Hydrogen peroxide is important, so that's what this is. Um, we also need, I'm going to go ahead and box these. The only poly, the only cation, and that is ammonium. NH4 with a positive charge is ammonium. Okay. So if we look, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Um, usually I leave off the brom bromate, but um, these are the ones that you are going to see repeatedly this semester, so those are the ones that I would focus on. Those are the ones you need to know.